the GW stand um, at the Trooper Show in Germany. I'm Martin Kugler with GW and I'm going to show you um, an accessory for our UV systems that we have introduced uh, at Trooper. So they're here on show for the first time. It's so to say a world premiere. Um, the UV monitor is mounted on a UV system, on the UV lamp, and the purpose is to measure the UV intensity of the lamp system um, as it goes on the substrate. Now this is very important because um, obviously you want to optimize um, the UV uh, dose on the, on the printed substrate. That means, optimizing means you don't want to have too much power and also not too little. Not too much for the simple reason it would be inefficient. Electricity is very expensive and you want to be sure that you don't use more electricity than you need. On the other hand, you don't want to be below the necessary output because that would mean the ink is insufficiently cured. So this uh, device uh, will help you to uh, measure the output correctly and have the correct dosage, taking into account the speed. It's a very simple device. It's mounted on the outside of the lamp casing with a sensor going into the chamber where the UV curing is taking place. We call it multi-point UV monitoring. That means, multi-point means over the complete web you can have ideally three measurements, uh, one at the extreme ends and one in the center. Here, uh, this demo model is only a small web, it's 10 centimeters, so we have only have fitted two sensors here. Um, that's the outside. I can also show you the inside, uh, so you can see where it is uh, exactly. Um, as, it's, as I said, it's only a small hole through which the sensor goes into the chamber where the UV curing takes place. So I take the lamp out and we can have a look inside. Okay. So I can point them out to you. Um, here are the sensors. Here there's one and there's another one at the other end. Now we also use compressed air uh, simply uh, to keep the sensor clean and free from any ink dust or paper residues or whatever in the chamber. Okay, I hope you find this interesting.